Democratic Tennessee Congressman Steve Cohen says they're making a big mistake. Um, I, uh, they're going through with this. You don't think they'll, they'll make much progress with it, right? Well, they may in the House, but they won't in the Senate. And, and if they got past that, they wouldn't get through the presidential veto. But it, it was, it, this is just a statement, particularly to the, for the freshmen, to the base support that they have. Um, do, you, do you think that there's, in the middle of this, I mean, I know the administration's been arguing and why it has been slow, even in legal responses and challenges, that maybe it's trying to run out the clock. The longer things go on, the more falls into place with the law. And the, the more difficult it is for Republicans or those against it to untangle it. Is there is that the strategy? Well, I don't know what the strategy might be. I mean, I think there have been about 10 courts that have upheld it constitutional, only one has not. And, uh, Do you think, by the way, it's the, going to the uh, Supreme Court in the end? Well, I'm, 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 and I'm afraid of that. The Supreme Court could do anything. They've certainly shown a, a, a liberalness with their interpretations of the Constitution. Uh, well, but well many, many jurists say that, that you guys have shown your liberalness with regard to the Constitution. That's neither here nor But could I get your sense of what you guys might compromise on? Because I think in the end, it might be the core things on which you agree that, that, that like, uh, uh, helping those who don't have coverage, uh, protecting pre-existing conditions and all that. And that might be where you ultimately find agreement and some of the other stuff goes away. What do you say? Well, I'm not sure if there is a place for agreement. You know, there were no amendments allowed to the bill in, in the Rules Committee by the, by the, the Republican leaders, in, which control the Rules Committee, as we did when the Democrats had majority control. Uh, I think nobody's against or shouldn't be against having young people stay on their parents' insurance until they're 26 or not having pre-existing conditions eliminating you from health insurance or having lifetime caps or not eliminating the donut hole. But all those things, uh, the, the, the sum of the parts make up the whole. And I think if you take away those parts, you really can't Well, there are some the onerous package. parts, like the 1099 thing, the mandatory coverage thing. The, that will know. be repealed. That's wrong. Okay. That 1099 is wrong. The oh. mandatory coverage, though, is a, is a necessary element because if you don't have that and people don't have insurance, they'll continue to go to the emergency rooms, which are the most expensive. Uh, well, obviously, some of your colleagues, at least in the money. Senate, Claire McCaskill, others saying, oh, maybe not so fast. So they're always all getting the EBGDs, right? Well, it's going to be a, it'll be a vote next week, and, and uh, it'll cost the budget, according to the nonpartisan uh, Congressional Budget Office. Uh, 250 billion dollars in the first decade and 1.2 yeah. trillion in the following decade. That's not good for the deficit. Okay. Congressman, great having you again. Be well.